Darrow a defeat in Hartlepool. And in many aspects, I'd say similar performance to our last game against Hartlepool, where we competed really well, just couldn't find that cutting edge to go out and win the game. Yeah, I thought the performance was really, really good. Um, it's a difficult place to go. I think they've got the best home record in the country at the minute. Um, I thought for large spells of the game, we were the better side. Um, and unfortunately, we lost to a set piece again against them. So obviously, we know the calibre of the opponent. We know every game is tough in this league. But when you come up against a team like Hartlepool and you do get those chances, how vital is it that they are put away? Yeah, definitely. Listen, it's been a, it's been a theme in the, probably the games that we've lost, and you always look at the games you've lost and what you've done better. And the majority of the ones we've lost in, in the last couple of months have been for us not taking our chances. Um, but we're creating good chances, um, and we've got to keep believing in what we're doing and keep moving forward. A positive to come from it. Matt Robinson hit a milestone for the club yesterday. He played his hundred fiftieth appearance for the Daggers. I mean, that's that's such great achievement for him, isn't it? Yeah, and no, our Robbo was awesome again yesterday. I think he's been he's been in great form. We said to I think he scored four goals in 150 games, but I think he's got three and ten for us now. I think it's he's been an incredible run for us, Robbo. And um he's playing really, really well. And I said it to you last week is the energy he gives you on and off the pitch and the positivity in the change room and on the pitch. He's been outstanding for us and, and a lot long way that continue. His goal scoring form of late is something I actually wanted to touch on really because Obviously, before it, it was it was a rarity, and now I mean, it seems game after game he's finding himself in those goal scoring positions. How has that come about? Is that more of a tactical thing, or is that something that's grown naturally in his game? We've changed his position, really. I think um, I would say not not to be disrespectful to Robert, but he, he sometimes he can look unorthodox how he plays in terms of you know he plays off left foot, right foot. He's, he's decent in the air as well. Um, it's not always easy on the eye, but he gets into positions and he's really effective in, in, in the box. And and we've just felt by putting him into the box from crossing positions, etc., that he can be a handful. Um, and he's got such great energy that he's hard to track and hard to mark. And um, he's really grown into the role, I think, over the last 10, 12 games. And, and he's been excellent. He really has. You've worked for him ever since you've arrived. How much has he developed his entire game as a player since you've been working with him? I think this is the best spell he's had since we come in. I think last season when I come in, we only had seven league games when I come in last season because of obviously COVID. Um, and he played every game for me in that. He started the season with us and I took him out of the team um, after Barnet, I think. Um, and his performances and training and his, as I keep saying, his positivity, he's forced his way back into the team and, and he's he's been excellent. He really has. And he, I can't speak high enough of Robert on, on and off the pitch. I think he's a top guy. Look ahead to Monday's game. Now, we face Aldershot, which we know will be tough off the back of, obviously, our last game against them. What, what are you expecting to see from them on Monday? Um, I expect them to be similar in the sense of energy, legs, hungry, pretty young team. But what they all see is a totally different team to what they seen last time. Because mm-hmm. um, we're nothing like we were. We played Aldershot earlier on this season. I think if you look back upon our season, I think it's... It's taken us a while to get to the stage where we are now for various reasons. Um, and we're now starting to look like a team that we hope we'd be a little bit earlier in the season, but we're getting there now. Um, and we look now to these last 12 games, starting with Aldershot to really kick on and show everybody what we're all about for the rest of the season and whatever that takes us this season and then into preparation for next season. Um, but it's a game we know will be tough and a game we're looking forward to and, and a game that um, we want to we want to right some wrongs really from, from, from the last game because I thought at older shot, that was one of the poorest performances we've put on this season, to be honest, especially in that first 45 minutes. Um, that'd be something that we looked about right on Monday. So we spoke about your targets from now until the end of the season. I mean, and your main sort of focus was just to get as high up that league table as possible in these last 12 or so games. Older shot sit just one place above us. There's, I mean, there's not much better of an opportunity to start from now than there is on Monday. Yeah, listen, every game, I'm not, I'm not just targeting them. Every game, it was, it was a good opportunity to start yesterday. And I felt yesterday we, we put in a performance worthy of points out of it. Mm-hmm. And in some game, in, in, in this run again, about what we in the last eight games, we've won four, drew two, lost two, and, and we've lost two on set pieces. You know, we've been against Hartlepool, who for me at this moment in time are probably the best team in the division, how they're playing, etc. 
Um, so it, it's fine margins in this league. And, and we look to attack all the shots uh, Monday with everything we've got to go and win. And then we go to the next one. And I just want us to have that relentless mindset between now and the end of the season that every game we've got something to prove uh, individually and collectively. You know, there's players within the side that are out of contract. And we've got 17 people at the club out of contract. So there's people with stuff to prove and, and things to show them. And we owe performances as well. I think we, we've, we've grown. And there's no point in us putting on this two-month show what we've done where we go, God, I them look a decent team now and letting that fade away. We've now got to kick on for the rest of the season to show everybody how good we are internally and externally.